but uh, uh, I, I'm I'm pretty sure that I mean obviously TV is is up there as well, but I, I mean just just for when you look at it and say like people are watching their their computers now rather than and that that number exists, you know people are just going to YouTube for this. I mean that's that's a lot of numbers. I mean for me, I don't have cable. I haven't had cable in two years. Um, um, but you know, I and I, I watch a, a lot of my stuff either. I, you know, I I I don't really have time for. It. I mean, I do have Netflix. Um, and I buy a lot of things off of iTunes, um, but it, I just don't particularly watch, you know, cable television anymore. I, I like finding new kind of not underground shows, but just shows that are just like, you know, on YouTube that are, you know, are new and creative and interesting. And I, cause I've, I've always kind of looked at it as like, this is, you know, this is going to be the future. Eventually people are going to start, you know, creating shows and, and having entire, you know, they, they have shows now. It's just a matter of time. For, for entire networks to have programs. And I'm not referring to, like, YouTube networks. Mm-hmm. I'm referring to people. People are going to mm-hmm. start, you know, like, Fox is going to have an entire, you know, ABC is going to have an entire just YouTube channel. That's kind of my – and it's not, like – I don't think it's in a, a huge, like, oh, my God, he's predicting the future. I mean, it's, it's already happening, and I think right. it's just going to happen, in like, in the next five years, let alone this year. It's just going mm-hmm. to explode, and I think a lot of more people are just going to be – just not even worrying about putting up on TV because they're going to look at YouTube numbers. They're going to be able to analyze it, and they're going to say, there's there's a lot of traffic here. There's a lot of eyeballs, so why don't we cater to this? And that's that's so very true because <clears throat> I watched soaps, or I still watch soaps, and ABC recently canceled two of them and just killed me. And then there's a company that, I guess, purchased the rights to the two soap operas, and they were going to go online with it, but, you know, things happened and it didn't get done. But in the meantime, there's been a lot of web series that have come out. So now we're watching a lot of those. So I think that's going to – and those are on YouTube as well. So I think it's going to go from there, and you are going to be watching more of this stuff on the Internet and YouTube versus watching something on your television. Yeah, I, I, I absolutely agree. Yeah, and, and I—he <laughs> <laughs> just said he had—he rarely has time for Netflix. You know? I know, <laughs> but um, but one of the things that um, as you were just speaking, Dan, one of the things that came to mind for me was that you know when you think about you know mainstream TV with three networks, most of what TV is made up of now primarily is reality shows, and I think YouTube is giving viewers an alternative because there's so much variety on YouTube. And, you know, in the different shows and, and just the different things that are available that you can search for. Um, and people, more people are migrating there to watch, you know, even if it's a uploaded portion of a segment of a show from five years ago, they're able to go there and see that. Um, it gives them that medium and that variety variety that they can't necessarily find on, on TV. And I agree with you. I believe that this is just the next wave of the future, that a lot of things are going to happen via YouTube. Um, that we've not seen yet that will happen. I, I agree with you on that. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad there are no disagreements. Very, very good. <laughs> well, for our listeners, you can get a preview of what the docu- documentary is about, and you can purchase it on there too, and that would be chill.com forward slash dandobi forward slash please dash subscribe. I, I if can make they it just easier. go to chill.com, will I, they find it that way? Well, no, you can even make it easier. You can just say chill.com slash please subscribe. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the, the shorter link that I believe. Or if you want to, uh, you know, stay – I mean, do you mind if I plug the site and stuff now? Is that a No, no, or, go ahead. Or, oh, perfect, okay. perfect. Good. Well, yeah, I mean, if, if anyone wants to like, keep in touch with it, we usually update the Twitter, which is just please subscribe. And we have a YouTube channel, which we have uploaded the teaser and trailer to, which is YouTube.com slash please subscribe. And our website is just please subscribe film. And if you ever want to like search for spe- spe- specific things on Twitter or uh, Instagram for cool photos and behind the scenes stuff. Uh, we, our hashtag, our hashtag is please subscribe film. So yeah, so that's that's that stuff right now. But right, yeah, right now you can you can uh, pre-order the film right now on Chill, which is chill dot com slash please subscribe. Um, one thing that I did want to mention, which I'll, I'll hopefully say at the end, is on February fifth, two thousand thirteen, we're going to be doing a limited uh, theatrical screening uh, across uh, the U.S. of please subscribe. It's um. 
we're going to, I think we're in somewhere, it's going to be like 200 to 300 theaters. So just, oh. you know, if people are, if you're listening, just like, you know, either check the back on the Twitter or check on the site and we're going to have a list of things. It's going to be coming to, you know, a lot of theaters. I mean, if you think about it, there's, you know, 200 to 300 theaters there. That's a good amount of theaters, but it's going to be one night only, one showing only in those specific theaters. So just kind of keep an eye, you know, keep an ear to the ground. Um, February 5th, I believe it's going to be something like 7.30 p.m., um, but those details will come later, but it will be theatrically all over the place and, you know, probably a theater near you. So February 5th, write it down. So, <laughs> there right. you go. Enough enough plugging already. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I also tweeted out the, the pre-made link that you have for Please Subscribe where you're trying to get um, um, more – Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? And to increase your chances to get some, to the documentary to Sundance. So, and it was off of your YouTube page. Oh yeah, but you know what? Um, we we you know I'm sure people who are listening who who have any interest in this or is fo- following the project, we we didn't get into Sundance, and that's totally okay. I mean, we're we're okay with that. Um, one of the reasons. Well, can't it why- go to the next one or no? You only have one shot, or <laughs> I don't oh, know well, how no, that works. Sun- Sundance is just one specific film festival, and we, we've we've you know submitted to a, a good amount of them. Uh, we haven't heard back from any, which isn't a bad sign, but it's not you know. I mean, we we, we just we you have to wait. Uh, some some of these people don't respond. Some of the uh, these festivals don't get back to you until late December or early January. So we haven't heard back. Um, in regards to the Sundance situation, um, we we have kind of. Um, Dis- I'll keep it kind of short, but we've disqualified ourselves from from being in there, um, which is, you know, unfortunate, but it happened. And uh, we, we, you know, people have asked me in the past, you know, oh, that, that stinks that it happened. But no, you know, and the reason why we got disqualified is because we did some public screenings of the film, which we were under the pr- impression that they were kind of private. And um, you know, it, it's it's okay because we've done some we've done a, a handful of screenings at. Google Google offices uh, across the actual world. I can say now because we've done one in London and we're going to do one hopefully soon in Tokyo. Uh, we've done, okay. you know, we've done we've done a screening in LA. We've done two in San Fran. We've done one in New York, and then we have another one coming up uh, in Tokyo. And by doing that, uh, what we thought was a private screening actually turned out to be a public screening. Uh, someone at Sundance found out about it, and that's the story around that, which is kind of unfortunate. But hey, you know, it's okay. Um, it, it, it happens even if we didn't, uh, you know, get in or even if we did, you know, I mean, here's, here's why it's okay because, you know, all these, we, we've brought it around the country and we brought it, you know, to London and the experiences that we've had already doing this, I think it's kind of worth more, uh, to us to say, to say, you know, oh, we've showed it at Google New York and we've, you know, like, and I, I'm, I'm proud with that. I'm really happy that we had the chance and we did that. Um, we still have a lot more festivals to go to hear back from and Sundance is a super competitive one uh, to begin with so you know it's not like me or anyone on my team kind of said it was was super upset we took it we 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 accepted it and we just said "Ah, it's okay we'll we'll check out the next one well Dan I have a question um and you may not you know this may not even be um a thought but um is there a chance that down the road you would do a please subscribe to to feature more, um, you know, possible YouTubers that have shows on YouTube to kind of not only um, necessarily as a follow-up to this main initial one, but to just kind of give um, viewers kind of a, an idea of what's out there. Well, um, yeah, I mean, it's funny because I had to cut a few different people from this film that are actually, you know, when I when I tell people the names of the people that were cut from the film that we I went out and shot, they say, are you crazy? Why would you cut them? I love this person. Oh, this person has like a million subscribers. Why would you do that? It just didn't make sense for this one. And we, obviously, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's a feature film, but we didn't want this thing to go three and a half hours long. You know, right now it's seventy-five minutes. I think it's at a perfect length, and we really didn't want it to go any more. Uh, we wanted to just show. And like, if you look at like the through line for the film, and I don't actually want to get into that because I want people to watch it and figure it out themselves. But you know, for for this one. It's it's where I think the film should be, um, and uh, you know, as talking about a please subscribe too. I mean, I think I'm only scraping the surface 
with this one, and I definitely mm-hmm. want to, like, I think there's a lot more to be told. And a lot of people, when they watch the film, they say, oh, my God, that was a really quick movie. That happened really quick. You know, I showed it to a few of my friends recently. I had uh, uh, Ed Bassmaster in town in L.A., and he came to watch it, and it was done. He was like, you're kidding me. He's like, that's it? I'm like, he's like, how, how long was that, like 20 minutes? I'm like, no, it's it's almost 80 minutes. He's like, dude, that flew by so quickly. He's like, can you make it longer or 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 make another one and i'm like yeah maybe we'll see i love it you know and you know this one primarily it's about the people who are kind of like you know the top dogs the people who are really consistent with it and are making you know a you know a, a you know they're they're doing this and they they have a lot of subscribers and a lot of fan base and i almost want to do a second one where I, I go after the exact opposite maybe the people who are just starting off and like and how their struggle is di- any different from the people who have been doing this for a while so you never know i don't want to release too much information but yeah uh, the uh, the the wheels are definitely turning in my head as far as making another one but we'll see what happens nothing's nothing's promised well, one thing I want to say to that is that, you know, as I watched the documentary, and it was really nice because, if, you know, had I, um, you know, if I were a fan of YouTubers in general and I was subscribed to a bunch of different ones, it was really nice to be able to see the behind the scenes and get, like, you know, you see them on YouTube doing their shows, doing their thing. But that was a nice perspective. And I think, you know, there is definitely uh, a, a demand for more of that. So, yeah, I think you definitely um, should put more out. I do. Because it gives viewers that behind-the-scenes look at their favorite, you know, uh, YouTuber that they're subscribed to, that they're fans of. Oh, well, good. I'm, I'm glad that you say that. Cause that's more, motiv- it's more motivation for me to make one. And, you know, obviously, <laughs> I only I only touched on eight of these people, and there's there's so there's thousands of people that do YouTube, you know. Um, so, you know, I don't think it's going to be an issue trying to find other cool people that are creating content on YouTube. I, I think it's going to be actually fairly simple. But, yeah, I think, um, you know, again, I'm just scraping the surface with this one, right. and I think that, you know, a lot of people, you know, I'm not I'm not leaving it open where there's questions for people but I I a lot of people who have, who have no idea about YouTube one of the things that I hear 100% of the time is they say oh well I just went you know this is so interesting I went home after watching this and I I looked up who Wheezy Waiter was or I looked up who C Nanners was and I I really enjoy their content and I sub- I made an account and I subscribed to them so it's like I'm you know watching this is kind of an infectious kind of uh movie where it makes you kind of do something proactive after it and uh, i've kind of heard that from i mean literally 100 percent of the people that i've showed this to who who don't know uh youtube but the people that do know youtube who 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 watch you know say like a wheezy waiter they they um you know they get on and afterwards they're like you know this is really cool you know this is really cool because i know i know wheezy waiter from from YouTube, but it's good to see him actually shooting and how what his creative process is and how he goes about it. So, you know, um, I think there's no really specific demographic where this this film is going to hit. You know, I showed this to my parents and they were, you know, very intrigued and interested in this as well. So it's not just for someone who knows about YouTube. It's almost for people that don't know about YouTube to kind of open their eyes up to what this is. Exactly, exactly. That's well said. <laughs> this is oh, exactly thanks. what I was thinking when I was rewatching and the other thing I meant to mention a second ago was that it does go by fast. I mean you, you cut it on and it's over before you know it. Because and that's when you know that you've created something that is very interesting to the viewer. Um and I think that's with any movie when you can sit through a movie and two and a half hours have gone by or whatever the time span for a movie is and you come out of that and you go, Wow, it's over already you know, so that was yeah, the where's that part I had two? from watching this, you know. <laughs> So, um, great job there, you know. <laughs> it was, oh, thanks. It was great. Very good. Well, we it have, definitely um, left you wanting more. Exactly, I know. Um, well, we um, we have a caller on the line. Do you have time to take a call? I have, yep, absolutely. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, this is David. David, say hello to Dan. Hey, Dan, how are you doing? Hey, good. How are you? Not too bad, sir. Hey, I'm just taking a look and at... at at your site, and I was wondering, who are your three main inspirations for your project? Um, three main inspirations for this project. You mean like phys- like like people, like directors, or just like like YouTubers, or what do you what do you mean specifically? Anyone you want, sir. Anyone. Um. Uh, you know what? I I think years ago I started um 
you know, when I started doing YouTube, I, I as much as uh, I, I really looked at Mitchell Davis, who, who does a, sh- a channel called Live Lava Live, and um, I I wasn't at that time. I would watch his videos and I would just say, I don't 